Hey there guys, how is it going? So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you something very, very simple. It is just the basics of what you can actually do with our automations. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with it. So here you can go ahead and rename an automation. You have to enter it, click on the automation name, and there is a pencil over here. You don't have to click if you don't want to, you could just click on the name or if you want to go ahead and click on it, it's all up to you. And I'm gonna go ahead and name this rename and click on save and that will be all. That is how you can actually rename uh, automation. Uh, so you could see a small lock here. This lock, once you click on it, it's going to be private just for you. So as you could read here, it says lock your automation to keep it private from other collaborators on your team. So if you wanna keep it just to yourself, you could go ahead and click this lock here and that would be more than enough for it to be private. You could also add a tag. I can go ahead and write any name I want right now. Let's say Tudo, let's put it as a blue and let's add a tag on this one. Let's say YouTube, let's put that red. And yeah, that is how you can add tags. The other thing we can do is search by name or tags because you see, I put Tudo here. I can go ahead and filter it out, put YouTube. I filter it out and I could go ahead and write rename and filter it out. It's as simple as that. We can also move any of these uh, workflows to another workspace. So let's go ahead and click on move and we are going to put it in new, why not? That is the rename and that should be in new. And as you can see here, it is applicable, <laughs> it moved. And I can remove the tag if I want to. And let's go ahead back to the regular one we had. And let's go ahead and duplicate any of these steps. We could go ahead and duplicate. And as you can see here, it's over to the last automation. Let's duplicate it again if you want to. I showed you a, a quick tutorial on how to avoid the queue. So if you wanna go ahead and check that one, this is very useful for it. And if you wanna erase any automations, you could do it by two ways. You could select it on the workspace you have, the trash can, slide all the way to your right, click on delete, or you could go ahead and view the automation and click on delete button over here. And the same thing, slide to your right, click on delete. After that, we have the last two things that we can do with our automations is play steps or view the actual automation. You could also view the automation by clicking on it, but if you wanna go ahead and click the button, you could do so. So you know play steps, you could go ahead and play all of these automations at once if you want to. And you could also stop it from playing because I, for example, do not want any automations to run right now. And let's go ahead and stop these automations. You could pause as well or stop them completely. I am going to stop them completely. And yep, that is all you can do with all of our automations. Thank you so much for watching this small tutorial and have a great day.